Good morning to all. This is Dr. Vai Sujata Reddy, Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department. Now we can discuss about construction of regular polygons. In construction of regular polygons have different methods. In the different methods, uh, in this uh, video, we discuss two topics. That is the one is the aux method. Second one is the inscribe circle method. Okay. Okay, now you learn how to draw regular pentagon in aux method. Okay, this aux method is one first method construction of regular polygons. For example, you take the consider the construction of a regular pentagon side of length is 35 mm. Okay, 35 mm. First, you draw the A to B that is the distance or length of side is 35 mm. Okay, and next you take the same length radius A to B radius and A is the center. You draw the an arc that is the semi arc. Then after you take the scale, you extend that line same A to P that is the point where semi arc cuts the point that point is the P okay that point is the P now you now you observe the P to B is the half of the circle is there P to B is the half of the circle is there now in you now you need to draw the pentagon for aux method so you need to pentagon that means pentagon have five sides so 180 by 5 equal to 36 how we take the 180 why we take the 180 degrees means half of the circle have 180 degrees that's why we take the 180 degrees 180 by 5 is equal to 36 so you take the help of the protector here you take the help of the protector now that you you observe the here how, how we measure the protector on 36 degrees okay here that is the 36 degrees that 36 degrees is the first point okay that is the first point first line that is the first same in this way same 36 you take the measure p2 p2 first arc first point so you divide the five equal parts that semicircle okay in this way you divide the five equal parts in that semicircle otherwise with protector also directly you measure the five equal parts 36 36 you add that uh, degrees okay in this way you divide the five equal parts now now always the line joining the second division of the point that means second division means first point second third fourth so in this way you draw the straight vertical lines a to a to you join the straight vertical lines second point third point and fourth point so in this way you join the first you observe here in this way a to you draw the where the cut the semicircle points second division third division and fourth division okay now you observe the here in pentagon that is the second division point that point a gives the second side of the pentagon that gives the second side of the pentagon that means a to b is the same distance 35 mm same equal length a to b has the 35 mm that 35 mm length is the a to second division also a point a to second division also is having the distance length is 35 mm now after you measure the arc distance same a to b you take the radius and b is the center point you cut the arcs that uh, divisions of vertical line you cut in this way okay you cut in this way with the help of the compass 
next you join that where the b2 cut the points where cut the vertical lines where we cut the we divide the points that points we join now with the help of the scale you observe the here so how many sides are visible now that is the five sides five sides is called as pentagon all sides are equal so the it, that's why it is called as the regular pentagon in ox method this is the ox method <coughs> okay this is the ox method now you okay this is the construction of regular polygons how first method ox method i will give the review so first we take the side distance of a to b we draw the one horizontal line a is the a to b is the radius a is the center we draw the semi arc in this way okay this is the semi arc and then after we join the one horizontal line we extend the line this a to p this is the point p okay then after semi circle have this is a semi circle this semi circle have 180 degrees so that's why we take the here 180 degrees we need to pentagon pentagon have five sides so we divide the 180 by 5 equal to 36 so we take the with the help of the protector we divide this semi circle five equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 okay then after we join the always in this method always the line joining the second division second division a to we draw the one vertical line we draw the one vertical line a to second division this is the one side of second side of the pentagon second side of the regular pentagon first side is a to b second side is a to two this is these are the two sides of the regular pentagon next we take the radius of uh, with the help of the compass a to b and then we cut the b is the center b is the center so here we cut the fourth division and uh, with the help of the fourth division to third division or we take the a to b is the radius here a to 2 is the same radius and second division to third division third division to fourth fourth division to fifth so then after we cut the ox in this vertical lines then after with the help of the scale we join wherever cut the vertical points a to second second to third third to fourth fourth to b this is the regular pentagon okay then after we discuss one more method so next you learn to how to draw the regular hexagon and inscribe circle method inscribe circle method inscribe circle method means the polygons if polygons has all its vertices on a circle all its vertices on a circle it is called as a inscribe circle method okay here same we take the length of the side distance is 35 mm then we draw the same a scale we join the a to b is the 35 mm okay then after we take the compass we measure the radius a to b is the radius 35 mm okay then we draw the one semicircle and then after extend the same length a to b is the 35 and extend the same length 35 a to here also that is a point p okay Okay, here you observe semicircle B to P. This semicircle have 180 degrees. Now we need to hexagon have six sides. That's why we take the six 180 by six equal to 30. Okay, in 30 degrees. Now we divide the six divisions. 30 degrees. We divide the semicircle with the help of the protector. You observe here. With the help of the protector that is a 30 or 60 90 120 
150, 180. In this way, total protector, we divide the here, 6 equal divisions. Or, in this way also, another method, P2, first division, that is, next second, next third, next four, next fifth, that is the B is the sixth. Okay, one, two, we measure the where cut the ox on semicircle, one, two, three, four, five. That points identify the numbers or divisions. Okay, now already you know the polygons always join the second division of the point that is the A gives the second division of the pentagon. A to 2 is the second division of the pentagon. Now, we divide the A to B. A to B is the, we divide the, we bisect the line. A to B, we bisect the line. Take the more than half of the distance and the A is the center. A is the center. We draw the arcs top and bottom and B is the center, we intersect the that ox. Okay, in this way bisect the line, A to B is bisect the line. So then after you join the, where cuts the ox, vertical line. Okay, next after same here also, second division also, we bisect the A to second division length. Okay, in this way A is the center. A is the center, we draw the ox top and bottom and second point is the ox, second point is the, second point is the center, we intersect that ox, okay. Now we join the line, vertical line, that ox, okay, where the two lines are first line and second line where the two lines are intersect the point is O. That point is O. Now you take the compass with O is the center and O to A is the radius. O is the center, O to A is the radius. You draw the circle. You draw the circle. Okay. Now you take the radi uh, length of the side. A to B is 35 mm and B is the center. You cut the uh, remaining part of the total circle. Now you observe the here. Six equal divisions are in the total circle. Now you join with the help of the scale. Where cuts the ox on circle. Okay, you join the with the cutting parts of the line here. You observe the here with the help of the scale. I will join one by one is the hexagon okay this hexagon this is the hexagon of inscribed circle method inscribed circle method means in this circle have all its vertices on a circle that's why it is called as the inscribed circle method i think all are understand two methods first method is the ox method and second one is the inscribed circle. okay thanks for listen uh, i think uh, Easily all are understand but uh, construction of regular polygons in two methods. First method is the ox method and second method is the inscribed circle method. Thank you.